and welcome back or welcome if you're new here. Today's video is a little bit of a different type of video for my channel. Um, previously on my channel I've only ever done fashion hauls for myself or for women um, but I do have a little boy and I do love shopping in general so I love shopping for him also. So what I thought was I thought I'd share the purchases I've bought recently for him. Now I know this isn't going to be everyone everyone's cup of tea especially if you don't have a child but presumably if you've clicked on this video you are interested so um i know these two things that i like to watch because i'm always on the lookout for some nice new pieces for him and he is just about to turn one um, next week so he's like just just about to move into like another age range of clothes and um, he seems to be growing at like quite the same speed as clothes sizes um so he's just gone into 12 to 18 months clothes and so it worked out quite well because it's obviously he's changed sizes as the seasons change so this is kind of like every time he changes size i do like a bit of a bulk order and this is the bulk order for his next size and um, there is a little bit more than um probably normal and that's just because obviously this next size he'll be in longer so up to now he's been in like uh, 9 to 12 months like the ones that only last for 3 months but this one's obviously going to last for a big a longer period um, um, 12 to 18 months so anyway so obviously usually when I, I do a haul I'll show you the piece and then I'll show you each piece on but I'm not going to make my son try all these items on um, however um, I don't know whether it'd be helpful to you or not but I'll do it anyway and what I'll do I'll maybe do like a flat lay of each item and what I intend them to wear with the item Okay, so the first piece up is this little striped check sweatshirt. Now, what you will probably notice um, about all <laughs> the items in this haul is that I really do stick to a colour palette. Um, I'm, I set to neutrals and black, navy and grey purely because, well, I like them colours and unfortunately for him, I'm in charge already works. Um, so, yeah, I like them colours and also because, um, like, then say for instance he has something on and then he's and we go out in the day and he spills something on it and he just changes top i kind of know that all of his clothes kind of match each other so like if he needs to just change one as top i know another top will suit his outfit and if he needs to just quickly change the bottom you know what i mean so i know that all of his items are all interchangeable so i like to stick to a color color anyway so yeah so the first item up is this striped sweatshirt and i thought this would be great for him to just like bop around the house in or you know playground with a pair of leggings um, and the temperature's starting to drop here in Hong Kong so um, soon this will probably be perfect for the weather and the next item up is this little denim oh, how cute this little denim shirt <laughs> denim shirt now we're being like um it's actually his birthday next week and then obviously then Christmas is soon so I thought with his birthday and Christmas and things like that he's gonna have like lots of like events <laughs> He's born, uh, but like not, you know what I mean. Like uh, lunches out with friends, and you know, just things like that. So I feel like he should have a few more little shirts. So this is his little, a little denim shirt, and uh, it feels quite nice actually. I was a bit scared it'd be quite thick and like um, rigid, and I thought if it's going to be rigid, it's not like it's not going to be comfortable for him to to wear. But anyway, yeah, it's, it's quite, um, it's quite soft. So I think this one should be good. Again, maybe we wear a little pair of leggings or jeans maybe when he's going out he could wear like a dark he's got a pair of black jeans um and a little pair of vans oh yeah i bought this one wanted to see what it looked like and it's like a little um gilet and i thought maybe you know if he's got on his little like denim shirt for instance again i'll do a little flat leg see what it looks like if he has his little denim shirt on but he needs an extra layer but it's not cold enough like needs a proper coat because in hong kong it doesn't get like super cold so he will need a coat maybe in january but until then it won't, it won't really be cold it's only cold for about a month or so but you might have like a little bit of a breeze so i thought you know maybe have a little gilet at the top so i thought let's see uh, what this one's like i, I was on an arm over it because it's got like that sort of washed out look which obviously is like very on trend and um, especially in baby's clothes but also with babies because you have that like the worry that it looks like it actually just washed out because you know lots of baby's clothes start looking washed out fast because you wash them so much and um, yeah and it's 179 hong kong dollars which is about 17 pounds but yeah so um i think it's quite nice actually and um, it's got this like little 
raw sound. Like I'm not a big fan of things like this, but like in Zara, everything's got that kind of like little extra cool aspect to it. Um, but anyway, yeah, um, I think it's quite nice actually. I think I will keep it. I, I, I someone in Zara, I think I will keep that one. Next up is this like little um, black um, knit, and I don't know if you can. Just, let me just get closer so you can kind of see the texture. Yeah. So it's like a, a waffle, it's called a waffle knit, I think. Um, yeah, this little black waffle knit. Again, this is just gonna be great for them to throw on around the house um, and play dates, etc. just with a pair. I'll probably make them wear this with a little pair of black leggings or gray leggings. Make them wear, it sounds terrible, doesn't it? <laughs> Technically, do make them wear what he wears. Um, but yeah, so he just got a little pair of black um, vans for his birthday off um, my nan, so I think like this would look great with his little leggings and his little bands. Or if we're going out maybe for some lunch, you could put this with like a little pair of jeans. Again, I've got a flat lay of how I intend to wear it. So box number two is opened, and the first thing is is just this like little oh it's so cute this little charcoal grey um, hooded cardigan. Now. I just really needed them to have something new. You can throw it in the bottom of the pram for him in case he gets cold while he's out. Um, and yeah, I'm just not much of a hoodie person, like, you know, like that sweatshirt material. So I thought a little knit would be um, good for that. Especially because if he's got like, a little smarter outfit on, um, I didn't want to wreck the outfit by putting like hoodie over it, like a sweatshirt hoodie. So I thought a little knit hoodie would be super comfortable. And it so actually feels like really, really soft, you know, like it feels, it feels really nice actually. Um, Especially because it's it's 100, it's definitely going to be like acrylic and polyester, but it actually does feel nice. Obviously, the most important thing is that it's going to be comfy for him, and I do think this one's comfy. And again, if you just see, again, all interchangeable. So if you have some little denim shirt, this will just go over the top. I just want everything to go with everything, so you know it's super easy. Like his drawer is just ready to pull things out in the in the morning. Obviously, we don't have much time as mums. Um, Okay, this one is going to have to go back. I don't know if I've ordered the wrong size or they've sent the wrong size, but anyway. Um, it was just this long sleeve striped um, t-shirt with just um, this little pocket there. But the uh, 18, 24 months has come, so I don't know if they sent it the wrong or I, or I ordered it wrong. But anyway, again, just, yeah, I just, I prefer now, I've always put them in little bodies. Um, and my husband really likes bodies because you know, they're all like neat and tucked in. He doesn't like to see his belly all the time when he's crawling around. But I prefer t-shirts because when he's eating, I like to whip the t-shirt off um, so he doesn't get you know stains on it. Um, and obviously bodies are like me not to get on and off. So personally, I prefer t-shirts. I think from now on, I'm getting t-shirts. And with the cold weather, I just thought, again, a nice little knit, and a nice little long sleeve t-shirt. And again, this would go well with his little cardigan, or it even go under his little um, gilet. So yeah, I'll do some flat lays of, again, I don't think it's a bit extra doing flat lays, like two people really like style the baby's outfits, but maybe I'm extra. So um, next up is this little um, Oxford, like a little pretend, uh, a little fake Oxford um, shirt. Now he's got, he's already got one of these, like a little um, Ralph Lauren one, he got as a present. And it's, um, it's a 12 months one, so I wanted to see whether I got this to it, you know, in case it, that gets a little bit small over Christmas. I'm a bit scared that it might be um, small from at Christmas time, so in case I thought I'd get this one. And do you know what? It's actually really nice. It feels super, super soft. Like, um, it feels much softer than uh, Ralph Lauren one. Obviously, the Ralph Lauren ones, it's a bit more like, thick and rigid, because um, it's probably more expensive to make, but in actual fairness, like, for a baby, I think they probably prefer the thinner, um, softer one. So yeah, um, I've got to say, I really like that. And again, I think this would be great over Christmas with um, a little pair of jeans or a little pair of trousers. He's got a pair of trousers in this box, so I'll show you in a minute. Okay, so next up is another shirt, and it's this little striped um, checkered shirt. He hasn't had a checkered shirt before, so I thought, you know, just add a new little mix and again, Again, as you can see, stuck to the colour palette of like the navies. Um, yeah, uh, yeah. So I think like our, I think our family think like I'm a bit like too much over the baby's clothes and stuff because it's like the whole colour scheme thing. But I just think for me, like 
I like it all to just fit in nice to each other. And as you can see, once again, this would look really good with his little, his little um, hoodie. You see, his little hoodie. And it go good with his little, um, his little gilet, like everything matches. Again, I'll show you in a flat lay on the side. Um, yeah, and I just think this will look great over Christmas time. Just where he's got a little pair of like um, distressed jeans. I think that looks super cute with them. Um, how cute is this over my little baby's clothes? Anyway, again, this is just, let me see what size I got. Oh, I've got the right size in this one. So that's the same as the last one. Um, no, that shirt, the stripy one. It's got a little pocket. Can you see that? Yeah, a little pocket. Just like plain long sleeve black um, t shirt. And it was $49, which is like a fiver. To be honest with you, like, I find it quite hard to, to find, like, navy, black, and grey, like, them sorts of colour plain t-shirts. Like, next are always, always sold out, like, always sold out. Anyway, the next one up is this little plain um, blue polo. And I just thought this would be nice, like, do you know, because it's going to be super comfy for him, because it's kind of like having a t-shirt on. Let me just go closer so you can see the texture. Yeah, it's kind of like having a t-shirt on, but like, he looks a bit more smart. So, if we're going like for lunch somewhere, um, not like formal, but you know, <laughs> formal, it sounds like, it sounds like I want a baby like that. But anyway, if we're going for lunch out somewhere, he'll be comfy in that, but he'll look a little bit smart. Anyway, oh, these ones were pretty risky, and I've got to say, my husband was more the lead on these, because my husband wears trousers like this. Um, so I think that's why he was uh, pushing for these. Anyway, these are like little smart grey. Let me just see if we get closer. They've got like little <laughs> pin tuck like pleat. Like a little, it's not really a pleat, but it's meant to look like a pleat, but it's a little pin tuck on them. Um, and you know, just look like really like smart pants. <laughs> So I thought maybe these would go with, you know, like a shirt tucked in, like this. Or if not, maybe like with like a little body tucked in. Um, but yeah, so I don't know if like they're gonna look a bit like he's wearing some, like a school, like a school boy trouser, because of the color. With them being charcoal, I don't know if it's gonna look like he's wearing a little school boy trouser. So yeah, I'm gonna have a little think about them. And then the last Zara item is, oh my gosh, how cute. I mean, can anyone, have, is there anything cuter than a baby or a toddler in dungarees? So these are like this like black denim pair of like distressed dungarees. And he hasn't had dungarees since he was like really, really little. Again, because it's just not been cool enough in Hong Kong to wear um, dungarees. But yeah, I thought how cute would these look with like, so if I get the right size top, if I get the right size straight top, like how cute are they gonna look? Oh my gosh, how adorable. Oh yeah, but anyway, they're just, uh, they've got like a little bit of distressed, um, sorry, let me show you. A little bit of like distressed on the bottom, uh, on the leg part. They look like they'd be pretty like a baggy leg jean really, you know, yeah. He, he is quite, he's quite skinny, so um, they're probably be very baggy on him, but oh my God, how gorgeous are they, please? Yes. One final thing I did, I realized that I didn't say is that like, I don't know if you've ordered baby's clothes before from Zara, but I'd actually say they're quite generous in size. Um, I don't know if like the generous in size, I don't know what like, what sizes go by, but for instance, like I find that the Zara stuff and the H&M stuff are always like quite big on them. But then the next stuff always like um, fits them. For instance, in, t in like say for he is say in nine to twelve months during the period that he is nine to twelve months, he always fits exactly into the correct size in next. If you get what I mean. But like um, it, the exact size of which the of what his age is is always bigger in Zara and H and M. If you get what I mean. So that, I just feel like say if you buy clothes from next. For instance, and you've already bought clothes in the past, but you haven't bought clothes from Zara. I'd say that the Zara clothes are probably like too bigger than what the next clothes are, if that makes any sense. So, the first thing from HM is this little like knit set. Now, this is just like for him to be like around the house, or if you go, we've got a play area in our apartment building. 
so like if you go to the little play area um, and it's just like like a tracksuit set but instead of being tracksuit material it's actually um knit and that's the bottoms and it's obviously this kind of like natural color and this is the top and the top again exact same but it's a little hoodie so a little hoodie knit set sorry it's so crazy it's been the h&m bag since you got it and um, at the weekend and bless the hood has got little layers on them i mean adorable um yeah so the <laughs> The hood's got a little, I'm not really into like gimmicky things um, for babies, if I'm being honest. Um, but yeah, so, but I did like um, that set. So I thought, yeah, it just looked really nice for in the house and for the play area. Okay, and the next up thing is this little cable knit jumper. Um, again, from H&M, this one. Um, and I just thought this would look really good with a little pair of jeans. Um, I keep looking down but I realise it's jeans. We didn't get jeans in all these already got jeans. Um, yeah, so just thought this would look really cute with some jeans. Um, and on the back it's just got these like two little buttons to help them get it over the head. Um, yeah, and I just think it's lovely, like really nice. And um, is this. Now this was like, I owned an order for this one. And um, my husband picked this one up and I wasn't really sure. To me, this is a little bit bold. How crazy is that to stop bold colours, is it really, to people? But for me, this is quite bold. But anyway, yeah, I thought it'd be good for him to throw on with a little pair of leggings, like, round the house. Uh, he needs some more long sleeve stuff around the house. Um, so, yeah, I just thought this would be quite cute. Again, it's just a knit little jumper. And on the back, it's got the same like the other one, where it's got little um, buttons for him to help him get it on. And he had this in another colourway as well. I think it was, like, maybe maroon and red. Um, at the bottom and I can't remember what the I think it was maroon, red, grey and cream. Okay, and the last few bits from H&M are quite boring, if I'm being honest, so I'll just quickly show you. But uh, it's just like a long sleeve little rib. Um, it's coming up white, but it's, it's grey. Um, just a grey rib. Um, oh, there you go. Yeah, just a grey rib. And these are the exact same material and colour as I've had them in bodies before in previous smaller sizes. And um, I like it and I like how they wash. So, yeah, I went for the long sleeve t-shirt version. And then I just got, you know, I don't think you really need to see, but just, you know, quite a few um, packs of bodies. Because I don't know what it's like in England or America or whatever, but H&M in Hong Kong is like, buy two, get, um, get one free. Yeah, so just bought some long sleeve and some short sleeve body packs do you know what annoys me though right like they have um two different packs and it's like so it's like gray white and blue like for me blue is just like i don't know why they're too gray white and black anyway they did have a black black and another color i can't remember what it was but they didn't have it in a size anyway yeah i prefer not to have the blue ones if i'm being honest but i know they'll do for around the house and if i'm also being honest i'm not really a big fan of white either because they just like you wear them once and they get stained and then forever the stains. So I prefer just grey and black ones. So if anyone knows anywhere we can get some like plain long sleeve, short sleeve t-shirts in grey and black, please let me know because um I, I'm like I'm forever looking on next and they're just constantly, constantly, constantly sold out. And even on Zara, quite a few of the ones that I did try and get were sold out in this size. So if you know anywhere, please let me know. Another thing that would also be helpful, if you know any other shops, um like I've named off all those clothes from Zara. Uh, it's got quite a few from Zara, H&M, Next, and uh, my mum sometimes, uh, my mum lives in England, and I'll sometimes ask her to pick me up some bits from like George, um, Sainsbury's, Tesco, them sort of places. But if you know anywhere else that does, you know, like reasonable um, children's clothing that you think I might like, I'd love it if you'd let me know and um, comment in the description box below. Um, so yeah, so I hope you like this video and it feels like it's quite long um, But yeah, I, I, I'm not used to talking about baby's clothes. So anyway, I um, hope you liked it If you did, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video because um, Judging on the response to this video will be whether I, it's worth me doing um, Baby videos in the future. So yeah, so thank you so much and I hope I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye